In my last video, I tested the strength of several lightweight concrete garden box panels. And today, I'm going to do the test with Aircrete. These lightweight panels link together to make long-lasting rot-proof garden boxes. I have a full series of videos on my channel showing in detail how you can make the forms and cast these panels yourself. I've had many requests to demonstrate the strength of these panels. In previous episodes, I did a rudimentary durability test with a line trimmer that showed how tough the surface of the panels were. And what I've seen so far is that as the panels get lighter or less dense, they are not as strong or as durable. The lightest panels I've made are from Aircrete. My first attempt at Aircrete was in part 3 of the series. I then made another set in part 3.6 that worked much better. I'd say it's the best aircrete I've made and they held up pretty well against the line trimmer. And if you decide to stack the panels for a taller garden bed, then there's the option of putting the aircrete ones on the top row where they probably wouldn't get as much abuse. So the focus of today's video will be to test the strength of the panels from part 3.6. These panels were left out in the garden for the winter and have endured many freeze-thaw cycles, and I don't see any damage from that. This test will be fairly straightforward and comparable to what I did in the last video, part one of this short testing series. I want to simulate the pressure the garden box may endure in the winter when the soil freezes, expands, and pushes against the inside face of the panels. I think this might be the greatest load they would be subjected to. I'll suspend the panels on steel rods in a testing rig and apply a point load in the center of the panel. I'll keep adding more weight to see how much they can handle. As I said in my last video, these tests are not scientific. I'll be testing only four panels and that's not a large enough sample size for definitive conclusions. And my testing methods are somewhat crude. And the method of making the panels is subject to a whole host of variables that I can't completely control or replicate. And that's just how it is. But I think we can learn something here just the same. I hope it will be entertaining and informative. I know I'm very interested to see how the panels do. There seems to be a lot of claims about the strength of aircrete, but until I put them to some type of test, I just won't know. And I'm sure there's a number of different ways to test their strength. Too many for the number of panels I have, so I'll try to keep it simple. So here's the four panels I'll be testing. They are all made from a Portland cement base and they all weigh around 22 pounds, which is 56% lighter than the equivalent sand and gravel panel. There's a link to part 3.6 in the upper right or in the description below if you want to see exactly how I made each panel. Two of the panels, number two and number four, have perlite mixed in with the aircrete. All have a wire mesh or grid added for strength. Two of these panels have a double grid, number two and number three, and two of the panels have some glass fiber for crack resistance, I think number one and number two. Did you get all that? Don't worry, I'll have lots of titles up on the screen as I go along with the tests, and when I do a summary of the test results at the end. All right, when it stops raining, we'll get out and see what happens. Okay, this is panel number one. Aircrete, Portland-based, number one. We're gonna load it some with some bricks. And it took 105 pounds. Okay. Okay, this is panel number two. crack.
Okay, I'm going to call that full fail. That's panel number two. Multiple cracks here and there. Also, it's got a crack right there. And a small crack right there. But stayed together for quite a while. All right. Okay, this is panel number three. He's doing pretty well here. Wow, I'm impressed. Let's have a little look. Wow. Still together. I see some hairline cracks, but it's still holding out. I heard something crack in there. I think it's about ready to go. Wow. That's impressive. Wow. Almost out of bricks. Now nah, it's getting a little scary. Okay, that's all my bricks. Wow. One, two, oh, there it is. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, eighteen. Five hundred and forty pounds. Wow, that is impressive. Wow, multiple cracks. Crack there. Some cracks here. Pretty much destroyed this panel. There you go. Okay, panel number four. Three rows, 90 pounds. Okay, let's just quickly pull this off and have a look. down the center. Uh, slight crack there. All right. For being less than half the weight of regular sand and gravel concrete, I thought the aircrete panels fared well.
In part one of this concrete testing series, almost all the lightweight panels survived 600 pounds of force. On average, these aircrete panels withstood around 140 pounds, with panels 2 and 3 doing much better than 1 and 4. And I think I can say that these panels would work just fine for a garden bed. We just have to accept that they are weaker and less durable than their concrete equivalents. In comparing the results, it was clear that the two panels, number 2 and number 3, handled much greater weights. These two panels had a double layer of galvanized wire reinforcement mesh added during the pour. Also, the two panels that had perlite added to the mix did worse than the two that did not, regardless of the mesh differences. Number two and number four had the perlite. These failed under less weight than the ones without. I don't think I have enough evidence to say if the added glass fiber made any difference here. Panels one and two had fiber added. So, to summarize, adding a double layer of mesh greatly improves the tensile strength of aircrete panels. Adding perlite to aircrete appears to make the panels weaker under tension. And glass fiber? Not enough test to say just yet. So I hope this was helpful. Drop me a comment with your thoughts. In part one, I received some excellent suggestions and I'd like to thank everyone who has contributed. In the next video, I'll do a quick test of some CSA concrete panels I made in part four of the Garden Box series. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.